When you think of notorious Roman emperors, one name likely comes to mind, Nero. But why is Nero so universally despised in Roman history? What exactly did he do to earn such a bad reputation? Was he truly as terrible as people say, or is there more to the story? Let's jump in. Nero became emperor at 17. Like many young rulers, he was influenced by those around him. At first it seemed like he might be a decent ruler. He was guided by his mother Agrippina and his advisors, Seneca and Burrus. But as time passed, Nero's true nature began to emerge. Imagine being a Roman citizen in those days. The emperor, who should embody the empire's values, is acting like a tyrant, not a leader. Nero's reign quickly became marked by extravagance, self-indulgence, and cruelty. You might ask yourself, what went so wrong? Nero was obsessed with his own image. He fancied himself a great artist, a poet, and even an actor, roles that were looked down upon by the Roman elite. But Nero didn't care. He forced people to watch his performances, which sometimes lasted hours. Anyone who left early faced severe punishment. Can you imagine sitting through a performance not out of interest, but out of sheer fear? Then there's the Great Fire of Rome in 64 AD. The fire ravaged the city for days, destroying homes, temples, and much of what the Romans held dear. Rumors spread that Nero had started the fire. He wanted to rebuild Rome and create a grand palace for himself. Whether Nero actually started the fire is still debated, but what is certain is how he reacted. Instead of helping his people rebuild, Nero blamed Christians for the disaster. He blamed them and ordered their merciless slaughter. It's hard to imagine the terror of living under such a ruler. They could destroy your life at a whim. And let's not forget about his personal life. Nero's relationship with his mother, Agrippina, started strong. But as he grew more powerful, he saw her as a threat. He eventually had her murdered, staging it to look like an accident. The man who once owed his empire to his mother now saw her as disposable. How does one justify such an act? By the end of his reign, Nero's paranoia grew. He executed anyone he saw as a threat, including his own advisors, who had once helped him rule. His cruelty knew no bounds, and the people's love for their emperor turned to fear and hatred. Nero's reign ended as chaotically as it began. Faced with rebellion and the desertion of his guards, Nero fled. In the end, alone and cornered, he chose to take his own life rather than face his enemies. So why is Nero hated? He betrayed his people's trust. He indulged his darkest desires. He left a legacy of tyranny and fear. When you think of Nero, you think of the dangers of absolute power unchecked and unchallenged. That's why Nero is hated in the Roman Empire. 